on the start line of one of the biggest races in the world, everyone there is fast. And you know that everyone there has worked their asses off to be there. Everyone is working on trying to find that 1% that will make them better than everyone else on the start line. The only Pan American champion from Canada, Magali Rochette's going to be our new elite women's Pan American champion. The times that I've been the most successful at races in my career is when I'm excited to be there. To me, that's when like the best racer in me comes out. We're in Saint Adele, and that's where the coolest trail system in the Laurentians is. And so last year, David and I bought a house here just so we could be close to the trails. There's this trail at home, the Petit Train du Nord, and at my parents' house, the trail goes literally in the backyard. When I was a kid, that's where I started riding my bike, and I truly believe this path had a big impact in me becoming a professional cyclist. I've been training so much on it and I've never seen the end of it. So I just called a few good friends that I've been riding with my whole life and we just head out and did it. Female cyclist, I guess you train a lot with guys. Patrick was a professional mountain biker and Alexis was a professional road racer. Now, although they're not professional racers anymore, they still love riding more than anyone I know. We've been training a lot together. Like They've seen me cry, I've seen them struggle. Um, we've seen the worst of each other, so it's super easy to be ourselves. I feel like I'm one of the bros, I guess. <laughs> Except when you need to pee. The yeah. guys can pee together, you need to... Yeah, I need to, get, I need to go a little further to pee. And also when they're attacking, I mean, I know they're maybe not full gas, but I'm like really full gas if I want to keep up. I think Magali and I ride about 90 to 95% of the time together and sometimes you can get a little bit lost in the minutes by minutes kind of detailed training plan and that was just a whole like let's just do it and go and go with the flow and it's, it's a great reminder that cycling is fun and that we started that because we loved riding our bikes. Come on, Mag. Yes. Oh, bon, ben, on va être sachet de la bouffe. <laughs> oh, pis la bière. Woohoo! Yahoo! Ça, c'est mon gars. On se voit tout le derrière. All right, cheers, guys. Oh, Merci yeah. pour la journée. Cheers. On se leur pète demain dans l'autre sens. Yeah. Après 20 ans à rouler sur le petit du Nord à tous les jours, quasiment, des milliers de kilomètres, je ne m'étais jamais rendu au bout. C'était vraiment sauvage, c'était tranquille, c'était le fun. Fait que... Pas sauvage, c'était surtout pas. <rire> 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 Puis là, regarde bien ça, le moment tant attendu. Et hop, oh, oh my god. god. Um, ça goûte l'amour. On voit que Mag se donne <rire> ce matin. The closer you get to the destination, it seems like the kilometers are longer and longer. And so there's the smell of this little fast food truck stop on the side. And we're like, ooh, maybe they make fries. So she made us this huge batch of fries and we just opened them on the ground, basically. Going out for a little adventure with friends, drinking beer and eating whatever, it 
can be counterintuitive thinking that this will help you become the best in the world, but to me, that's my 1%. That's what gives me the fire in the belly to just like give it all on the start line. Who has more salt in beer? It's always not. I need your medication for my soul. To me, it's just realizing that I can allow myself. It doesn't need to be complicated. I just left home in the morning, rode 15 hours in two days, camped overnight, rode all the way back, had a good time, and that's it. Hey, Zanine! Hello! I'm Jigdy! 